oh, this thing's clicking. I keep thinking that it's taking a picture <laughs> instead of a, a video. Hey, everybody. How are my peeps out there? <laughs> Hope you're all having a happy Saturday. Um, I am. I've been doing a little shopping today, and uh, I'm in Reno today, and, and uh, I'm going to see the documentary film that they made about Anthony Bourdain. Um, I was a huge fan, and uh, it really broke my heart when we lost him a few years ago. And they've done a lot of... Um, uh, investing, you know, they, they're, they're going to talk about his life and some investigating they've done and, and, and work they've put into trying to figure out what happened and what led up to that tragedy. But, you know, I guess no one really knows, but, um, I'm interested to see it. Um, I'm interested to honor his life by going to, um, watch this documentary and um but that's not really why I'm here today I'm here for a rant here as in on the on video so <laughs> I just went to Ross and I just lost it in there I mean I I didn't lose it but I I felt like losing it. There was this little annoying man in the dressing area that felt the need to order me around, basically shame me and talk down to me and um, give me attitude. And I had to encounter him several times because I went back to use the restroom. Then I went and did my shopping. Then I went back to use the changing room. And, you know... <laughs> The guy just didn't want to do his job. He wanted the customers to do his job for him. That's what it seemed like anyway. Um, the other thing is, uh, yesterday when I was planning to come to Reno, um, because the bets are booked so far out in Winnemucca, um, I was going to bring my dog to the vet because I think she has something in her ear. Well, I don't think she does now but because she hasn't been scratching at it, but she had been for like a week, so... I think hopefully she dislodged a little bit, but or um, not a little bit. Hopefully it's out of there, whatever it was. Uh, so I'll continue to watch her, and in the meantime, I'll make her an appointment. I need to get her in for a couple other things anyway. But so as I was calling around, trying to take her to one of the vets that's open on Saturday, and there are a bunch listed on Google. They have Saturday or weekend hours. As I was calling around, what I encountered is none of them are open on the weekend anymore. And they all inform me that they're booked way out to August and way out in August and September anyway. And so, um, sorry, there was a nosy nosy little man out here trying to see <laughs> what I'm doing, I guess. Um, and uh, so long story short, the only place I could take her would be an emergency vet, which I considered doing if she had still been, you know, scratching at it and acting like there was a problem today, but she really hasn't. So I think, I think we're okay to wait for a regular appointment. But one of the things they informed me was that they close or they, they're closed on the weekends now because they can't get any help. And that's the core of my rant. Ross, for example, what help they do have seems to think that you owe them because they're there. Um, you should bow down to them for working. Okay, I'm a Democrat, and I don't have a problem with um, programs to help people. I appreciate the unemployment and the extra unemployment 
that happened during the pandemic. But as soon as I could, as soon as I was able to find work, I was back to work. And um, we're still in, in a lot of places. I don't even know the details. In some places, all the places, I don't know. States, counties, cities. There's all these um, stimulus programs still going on, whether it be extra money on unemployment checks, rent being paid, um, extra checks for those with children. And um, my brother and I, bless his heart, <laughs> we're talking about this today. He, um, well, the thing that we, we um, observed is that there's a lot of people traveling, a lot of people on the road, and these are people that aren't working because they have money. Okay, that's nice. They're putting the money back into the economy. But these people are able to do things they wouldn't normally be able to do if they were working. Not because of time, but because they don't make that much money. They're getting more money than they normally would. A lot of people. Um... Like I said, I appreciate that there was a need. I don't feel that the need's there anymore. There are jobs. People can be working. P businesses need help so much that people can be working the next day, probably even same day. You know, I don't know. It just depends on the job. But there's jobs. So unemployment absolutely um, should be running out. There should not be any extra funds on it. And if any of you out there are still sitting home on your asses collecting a government check because you're making more money on unemployment than you are working, you need to get some pride. It doesn't matter. You need to go to work, earn the money that you receive, let those funds go into um, more needful um, purposes. And If you're not vaccinated, I understand some people are afraid of the vaccine. I think a lot of people are just buying into conspiracy theories or whatever. Okay, yeah, it's your right to decide whether to be vaccinated or not, but educate yourself. If you have some concern about the vaccine, Do what it takes to find the answers about your concerns. Because I'll tell you that if you get COVID, okay, it's going to go one of two ways. Either you're going to get vaccinated or you're going to get COVID. The variants are many times, multiple times more infectious than the original virus itself. Okay, um, look how many people the original virus killed. So if if the variants are that more infection that much more infectious, you're gonna get it. If you don't get vaccinated, you're gonna get it. And you know, you're my people. I love you all. I want you to be safe. I don't want any of you to die of this horrible virus. And if you're worried about side effects. I guarantee you the side effects of COVID itself are going to be much longer lasting and much more severe 
the damage, the damage that it does is permanent. Potentially, it depends on the damage, I guess, but... Uh, so, any side effect that you have, you know, a sore arm or whatever from the vaccine, that's temporary. Death is permanent, and the side effects of a severe COVID illness are most likely permanent also. So I urge you to investigate, study, read up, ask your doctor, whatever you have to do, get educated. And if you do that and you still don't want the vaccine, then I guess it's your right to, to uh, make that decision. However, you should be wearing a mask, using hand sanitizer, and staying inside and staying isolated, just like we did during the worst of the pandemic. Because you are potentially a danger to others, and you're putting yourself at risk. Okay, so that's my opinion. I have a right to it. So, you know, if, if any of you don't agree with me, you know, that's that's your business, your choice. I don't really want to hear about it, but... Uh, I just hope that you will consider um, keeping yourself safe. You know, people are um, pre- pretty being pretty haphazard about this whole pandemic. I, it doesn't make any sense. Um, Okay, but that wasn't my rant. My rant really was about the customer service in this country. It seems like uh, it's been... Oh, I went through... (laughs) Here's another one. Here's another one. I went through um, Long John Silver's the other day. Okay, so I ordered the shrimp um, cod basket. And they had me... In a, in, a, in a large ice water. And they had me drive around and park out front. So I had to wait about 10 minutes for it. Um, oh, and in the drive through um, the customer service was less, less than opt- optimal, pretty rude, but she did the job, so whatever. There. But um, my order came out in a very friendly girl brought that out, a different girl. But after she went back in, I discovered I had, um, you know, I I wanted some uh, cocktail sauce for the shrimp. I had none. There was nothing in the bag, in fact. And I didn't get my drink. Well, first I discovered the drink. And so when she brought it, I mentioned that, um, the water, so she went back in and got that for me. And then after she left, I discovered that I didn't have the cocktail sauce, didn't have any napkins, nothing. And by, by this time, the drive through was backed up about 20 minutes. <laughs> and I had just sat in the drive through about that long. So I went to the door, which was locked, banged on the door as loud as I could, and was completely ignored. I thought, you little shits. So, got back in my vehicle, got on the phone, called the restaurant. (laughs) I told them. uh, Basically, just that they forgot all this, and I would like them to bring it out. So, when she brought it out, I asked her, what's going on with your customer service here lately? And all I got was an excuse. Oh, we were just really busy. Yeah. And? (laughs) So that's not an excuse. You know, they're busy. They still need to do the job. But, once again, they want you to do the job for them. 
and they want you just to be grateful that they're even there to open the business. That's the ones that are working. And yes, I'm grateful that they're working and that they're there. Anyway, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This has gone on for 15 minutes. So I am just blathering, rambling, and I'm going to get off of here. And I uh, hope you all are having a lovely weekend. And um, if you're working, be grateful. Be thankful that you have a job. If you're not working, you have no excuse. Unless you have a real excuse. Most of them... Um, you know, a health excuse or whatever. But there's a lot of people not working that should be. So I guess I'm more conservative on that, on that. But that's not really a political thing. And it's not one party or the other. It's, um, it's just people taking advantage and being lazy. So get to work, people. As our economy needs you to be working and spending your paychecks. Have a great weekend, everybody.